Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this reading is for all Capricorn placements, including but not limited to your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Maybe you have Capricorn in the first, seventh, eighth, ninth houses doesn't matter you're welcome here keep in mind that i am recording this for the first week of july 2022 however if you do happen to catch this video at a later time that's okay it just means that the message was meant for you after july 2022 and that is okay all right let's get into it spiritual team what messages do you have for my capricorns for the next seven days what messages do you have for my Capricorns over the next seven days? Okay. Oh, we have fear. Okay, what are you afraid of, Capricorns? At the bottom of the deck, we have comfort. Hmm, interesting combo. Some of you guys may be literally afraid of being comfortable. Does that make sense? <laughs> some of you guys may not understand. Um, some of you guys may af be afraid of getting comfortable because you may feel like you're settling for some of you, or you may fear comfort because you feel like you can be taken advantage of. Does that make sense? When you let your guard down, you're like, oh shit. Okay. Hmm feeling comfortable with this person or situation um could really fuck myself over here <laughs> if i'm not careful um but again let's get into the tarot and see what this is actually about for some of you all right spirit what is the messages you have what are the messages you have for my capricorns over the next seven days Capricorns, I swear, I've been having issues with connecting my thoughts and my words all day. So if I don't make any sense initially, I'll try to catch myself and correct myself, but bear with me. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Hermit, mm -hmm, and the Fool card at the bottom of the deck. Y'all are scared. <laughs> are y'all scared of love? <laughs> Some of y'all are scared of connecting with someone or something. This Knight of Cups, it, it makes you feel like gushy inside, like ooey gooey, like you're melting. <laughs> and it's not really a comfortable place for a lot of my Capricorns. You, we don't like showing our emotions. Um, I have a lot of Capricorn placements, especially my moon sign. I'm a Capricorn moon. So I get it, like I, being vulnerable is, terrifying sometimes i'm not gonna lie to you but i do see someone or something coming in and being like hey kind of sparking this little fire inside of you maybe you got the butterflies with this ace of wands maybe they make you a little um aroused okay i do associate this with sex organs <laughs> some of you guys could be really attracted to this person situation thing, place, whatever, and it's a little frightening. So you run, you detach, you hide <laughs> with the hermit card here. You're like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let me think about this a little bit more because if I start opening up and I continue opening up, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about you. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know about this. Mm, mm -mm, I don't know about it. Um, the Eight of Pentacles is really interesting here. I don't know if this is something that you've been working on or if this is like someone or something has been working on you for a while or working together for a while. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys, this could be a relationship. I mean, let's be honest, that's what I'm getting the, the most. This could be someone that you have spent a lot of time with, um, put a lot of energy into, and vice versa. Um, and for some reason, it still kind of catches you off guard when this person 
suggests something. Now this could be like a big move or change. Like maybe they want you to move in or they want to move in with you or they want to travel with you or they want to, I don't know, get married. It could be anything, but it feels like there is a big instigating situation or event that kind of pushes you into this hermit mode. You're like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I gotta think about this a little bit. And you, you pull back and this person's left like, what, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? You're definitely scared of starting something new and fresh with something that makes you feel so vulnerable. Yeah, we got the Four of Cups reversed under the Fool, the Ace of Swords reversed, and the Seven of Wands. You are really, really determined to protect yourself. And it is a place, it is out of a place of fear. And it's like, you don't even want to give an answer to this person because you just, you're so afraid of what could happen if you say yes to this. And you're really thinking it over, you're like, oh, I want to take it. But at the same time, like my Capricorn logic says that if I get hurt, like it's going to really, really, really hurt. And I feel like spirit is saying, take the leap, take the leap. You have zero reversed cards on this table minus the ones that are underneath at the bottom of the deck but this looks really really great it feels great yes there's a lot of uncertainty but it feels like there is a little bit of a, a base foundation that's been worked on here that's been built for whatever the situation is so I feel like the fear is just it's just that it's fear that's all it is. Okay, I think you guys are overthinking it. All right, Capricorns, that is what I'm seeing for you. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the final deck of the reading. Now, whatever comes out of this deck could have something to do with this, could have nothing to do with this. It's just additional things you need to know, be aware of for the next seven days. All right, spiritual team, what else do my Capricorns need to be aware of for the next seven days, all right? So I do break this deck up into two uh, smaller decks because it is quite large. Spirit, any additional messages for my Capricorns over the next seven days? Any additional messages for my Capricorns over the next seven days? All right. Well, I know you see that one, that last one that flipped over. It's happiness. Yeah. I feel like this situation makes you really happy, and I also feel like being happy makes you terrified. <laughs> oh gosh, Capricorns. Okay, we also have the scales keep your life in balance. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be comfortable. You don't have to live in fight or flight mode <laughs> all the time. What else do we have? Kite, vacation. Okay, so some of you guys could be going on a vacation with someone or just taking a vacation in general. Maybe you guys are getting over a fear of flying or travel, you know, especially to places that you're not familiar with or maybe places that you're going by yourself. Okay, yeah, traveling can be scary just in general, but maybe that's something you're overcoming. And then we also got the not unsuccessful plans. Hmm, okay, it could be some unsuccessful plans mixed in there somewhere. Um, doesn't have to be this uh, situation, it, or it could. Maybe it's because you just need time to think, and maybe you had plans, and you're like, ah, eh. <laughs> Capricorn's like, I don't know, I don't want to see you right now. <laughs> maybe you guys are canceling on somebody, I don't know. I also want to take a look at the bottom of each of these uh, two piles to see what else we have. We have the pale, time to get out of a situation. Interesting. So that could be just like the little voice in the back of your head telling you to like run away from the pain or the potential of pain. Again, it's not necessarily based in reality for a lot of you, but maybe there is a situation that you do need to get out of first. Again, different messages for different people. Take what resonates. Use your own intuition to figure out what is for you and what isn't. At the bottom of this uh, pile, we have the door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Yeah, this feels like this situation that we've been talking about. There's some beautiful opportunities for you if you can break through that fear. All right, Capricorns. 
that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I also offer personal readings if you want to link up with me. My website is below in the description box. If you want to see more content from me, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, I have a blog as well. All that info is below. As always though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you next time. Bye!